Good afternoon, you lovelies. Uh, Welcome to world famous Carson Performance. We've got Mr. Carson Performance. In my world famous Carson Performance now. <laughs> no, the place is just world famous, Georgia's Scouse. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Mr. JDK. How are they, you sexy squire? We've got Mr. Michael. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm good. First things first, what is happening tomorrow, guys? I'm sleeping in. No. No? No. Oh, I'm sleeping in as well. We're having a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Tomorrow my website is... Live! Woo! Are you excited? <laughs> I want a free Insert sticker. Tumbleweed. You just want free decals. And then I'll oh, then we'll be excited. Then I'll yeah. be excited. Like, come on, I'll give you some free decals. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow is very exciting day for the Monkey London channel because my website is officially live. Well, they're pretty that, sexual, aren't they? That is my first decal. Oh, Jamie Cage just spotted the new lovely area. new key tags. <laughs> is there different types of stickers in there? There, there is, yeah. Right, okay, cool. I've Are got there... six different types, of, well, five different types, and there's two colours of... Let's just have a look. Let's have a look, right, okay. <laughs> so first we got... Dang it! Oh, look at that, man. So this is the first ML decal. I've actually got two of these, one in a rainbow colour and one in a white and red. As you can see there, a dug it a day, keeps the dock away. They're super sick, these. They're all high gloss, uh, die cut. UV protected for three to five years. They're really, really nice, super sick quality stickers. Next one is mm. Special Monkey London. Nom nom. With a lovely a chrome background. Lovely, yeah, lovely chrome border, very sexual. Another one of the Duggets. And that's the rainbow Duggett if you're feeling a bit flamboyant. That's if you're feeling a bit more sporty. This one is the classic Monkey London sticker, obviously synonymous with the channel, with the cheeky accelerator pedal and a bit of Ray-Ban goodness. The Sylvia. Mm. I mean, that looks fast from the back. <laughs> that <looks fast. laughs> so, yeah, that is the old C-Y-L. Fucking you! Right, give me that, you crackhead. <laughs> right, this is the D1SL S15, looking absolutely gorgeous. All the details are the R34 brakes, Yashio factory rear lights. Very lovely. You guys like it? Very oh, like yeah. mm, oh, it. Yeah. Do you want? I'm taking. Yeah, you can just go on the uh, Oh, it's like that. <laughs> so yeah, these are the new stickers in all their glory. Looking lovely, all available on my website. I'm gonna be bringing out a lot more designs over the year. This is obviously just a, a starter package. Um, yeah, looking pretty cool. Mm, strong text. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got two more goodies, which my kind of oh, yeah. Jamie K is gonna show. We have the classic Black mm. and red, excuse the dirty hands. Lovely key tag. With, guess what's on the back? Nom nom. One one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean nom nom. And we've got a purple one, mm. which says, send, send it! it. <laughs> and a little bit of little, smoke little, for good measure. Yeah, these nice, are lovely, nice. these are all embroidered in mm. twill. They've got a Mero border. I don't know what that actually means, but it, is, <laughs> it sounds, pretty, sounds pretty cool. But yeah, these are the new Monkey London key tags with a nickel, nickel plated, What's that? Key ring. Key ring, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a nickel, <laughs> with a nickel plated key ring. So we are laughing, but these actually are really, really good quality. Only the best will do for you guys. That is the non non one up close. You guys have actually seen these before. We were selling these, but these are now available in the shop. And then we've got the purple send it for any aspiring dug it master. It doesn't look like much, but for now, that is the brand new range on the all new Monkey London website. You even get this special little monkey stamp. And I noticed, special little love note on Thanks the back. Thanks actually love monkey, yeah, with a special signature. And that's a bit of artwork there. I mean, that's so realistic, that face. <laughs> it looks just like him. Shut up, you two. <laughs> I'm actually going to be packaging all this stuff myself and sending it all myself. Um, if you do get your merchandise through and you take a really sick picture, make sure to hashtag ML Merc, hashtag ML Merc on your Instagram. Any sick pictures, I will do a little feature on my Instagram page and try and get you a few followers as well. I'm pretty proud of the old website. I literally spent a long time making it myself. So yeah, feel free to let me know what you think of it. All this stuff is mega good quality. I'm gonna be looking to bring out a whole load of new stuff as the year goes by. If you're watching this, the website is now live. So yeah, check out monkeylondon.com. Have a look at all the beautiful new merchandise and I hope to see a few of you on there. Real soon. A Lozzy appears. What's happening? Let me a fist, missile appears. Let me fist bump I already gears. appeared once. Yes, viewers. <laughs> We're back to shaky cam now because my gimbal just died. Uh, I don't like shaky cam, it's not professional. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's like all urban and ghetto and stuff. The latest Dugget, Dugget decal going up on the yeah. Carson Bonnet's Board of Perfection. 
Yep, so I've, it technically should go there because that's where it kind of sits, but it's a bit too much purple one space. I'm thinking here. Yeah, I'm Are we digging, agreeing? I'm, I'm digging that, man. I was kind of thinking more kind of like this kind of thing, sort of like. That is the official first sticker that's ever been stuck anywhere. If you want to get a sticker stuck somewhere else, uh, <laughs> do, do, do a buy. In the workshop today, we have a 1JZ S14. We have an original Escort Cosworth, small turbo. Small turbo. Small turbo, so an early one. Um, no, late one. Late, late one. one. Late, late one. one, small turbo. And we've also got the world's lowest car. Well, <laughs> maybe not the world's lowest car, but it's pretty fucking It's the lowest low. car around here. Yeah, it's pretty Definitely. goddamn low. You're just going to quickly finish aligning this. And once you've done that, we can get it on the floor and have a little, have a little go. We'll have a little play about with it, yeah, cool. definitely. While Scouse is doing that, I'm going to give you guys a quick little look at these lovely cars he's got in the workshop. I think this one is a Lux because it's got a sunroof and it should have aircon as well. Yeah, there you see, it's got aircon. Quite sort of retro in here, obviously in keeping with the, the time they were made. Lovely original Recaro interior. This one's actually in pretty good nick. I'm not sure what the miles are because they're doing some work on the clocks. What's the what's the mileage on this one, Scouse? Uh, 112,000. 112,000. And what year did you say it was 90? 90... 95. 95. That's actually not bad miles, is it, for the age of the car? If you look under here, we can see the... Oh, no, that's the tappets. We can see the Cosworth camshafts. These are all the uh, the tappets or the hydraulic lifters. I think the boys were saying they're a little bit worn, so they're going to be replaced. I better cover this all back up, or Mr. K will have a hernia in the morning. <laughs> yeah, quite cool to see some Cosworth camshafts, nonetheless. Obviously, one of the biggest talking points on the old Escort Cosworth is the classic, classic whale tail for all for all those downforces. You got to think as well for a 1995 car, um, bodywork is in pretty good condition. I'm not sure if it's original paint or if it's been resprayed but yeah for a for an old an older car she's certainly in good nick quick look inside the boot don't know if you've ever seen inside a cosworth escort cosworth boot that you have now that's obviously the spare wheel cool original factory wheel as well standard exhaust as well quite a sort of strange sort of small oval shape i'm really liking that i must admit as i grew up i wasn't really a massive ford a ford fan well, I did not like them, but I just wasn't really into them. But yeah, as I've sort of got older, I've started to really, really appreciate them. Very nom. Hamish's car is also back for a lot of work as well. You guys will probably remember this back on the channel a couple of years ago, let's say, S14 running a 1JZ. Since then, Hamish bought it and he's done a shitload of stuff. We've got new GI Master front hubs here, uh, loads of suspension components, new anti-roll bar. I think Scouse was saying there was a new, oh yeah, new turbo for it as well, new Borg Warner turbo, obviously going top mount single turbo. We've got a full set of adjustable arms from Hard Race, I actually quite like Hard Race, they're the ones that I run on my S15. Um, new Geo Masters on the back as well. I think these are Geo Master 3s, yeah they are, yeah. So these are the latest Geo Masters from Driftworks. I obviously run Geo Masters on my S15, so I'm a massive advocator of those. I've also just spotted some lovely Strongflex UK bushes. Mr. Strongflex. <laughs> uh, that's a 90 shore stiffness. I think it'd be an idea. You can't really sink your nail into it they're that hard. So 90 shore bushes, you know, you don't really want to go too hard on that. Stiff, yeah. And then this is running uh, 80 shore stiffness on the subframe as well, which is a bit softer. So that's actually the same as what James Dean Runs and Peter we tech. we tech, vice check, whatever his name is. Yeah. Um, run on their FD cars, so they run 80 short stiffness for your subframe bushes. Boys are just finishing off the last bits on Garris S14. Some of you more savvy viewers have been spotting some of the, the old retro classics we've got in the yard. Super, super sick Citroen BX GTI. Really cool these, they've got like covered, covered rear wheels. Very 80s, very retro. Proper sort of square shape, really, really like these. Not kind of sure what sort of values these are going for now, but definitely a, uh, definitely a classic. We've also got a little Peugeot 205. It's not a GTI. I don't think it's an XS either, because they, I'm pretty sure they had color-coded bumpers, but pretty cool hatchback nonetheless. I used to have a red Peugeot 205. Well, it was about 50, 50 shades of red. Another cool little Peugeot here, and another cool car that I used to own as well, a 106 Rally. It is missing a few trims and stuff, but no doubt they're doing a little bit of work to it at the moment. 
This one's a Mark 1, so it had a 1.3 motor. I think the later Mark 2 had a 1.6. Only a little engine, but super fast. Quick ratio gearbox as well. And proper, proper fun to drive. Rear torsion bar set up, so likes to do a few squats. Also just spotted a yeah, MG ZT. So basically a Rover 75, but in the, uh, in the MG formula. Are we ready to show the audience some air suspension? Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't really know much about it. All I know is, it's very low. Yeah. So what's the consensus? None of us have actually driven a car, really, On in track. a spirited manner with air suspension. Well, it might have been a bit spirited, but you know, well, I so wouldn't you, say... You've had a go on the road. I've never actually yeah. driven a car I've driven two cars on the road with air I've suspension. I've been in one. I've, my mate Sid got one that does a bounce. Yeah, Sid's car is like an I old classic, it's different, man. Yeah, but it's, you know... I want to know what they're like the in the performance, thing, performance know. world. We don't want to speculate too much. We haven't actually tried a car with air suspension on a track, so if anyone in the comments section or any of our viewers have had a go, let us know and we can have a little discussion about it. <laughs> right, well, well, first off, we've, I think you've actually got to work out how to get it off the ramp. <laughs> What's the problem here, Scouse? Do you want to tell the audience? So, I think because the, the suspension goes up, it, you know, the gap here is so, the car's- Basically, I'll stop you there, the car's too low. <laughs> the car is too low. <laughs> the suspension doesn't travel high enough to actually get the, like, this is Wait a second, is this the car in the highest, is this the highest setting? Yeah, this pretty much. Might be able to go like a few mil more. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I send that to oh, the owner Gareth. I think he's going to get some uh, trouser action going on. <laughs> yeah, she does I think what we should do low. is convince him that he needs to find an extra budget to to get us to start cutting metal away, and then it can get oh, sorry, then, then we can get really yeah, serious. We've probably been told on the internet that this isn't actually very low, and my my buddy uh, James, my buddy John, has got a much lower one. Definitely. So Gareth, if you're watching this, hopefully, if you're watching this in the comment section, please tell Gareth he's a, a wussy. And his car's not low And enough. tag us if you have a lower one. If you've got a lower one, tag us in it so we can see. Yeah. We want to see who's Let the lowest battle commence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We are all kind of on the fence. We're not going to be sort of biased or unbiased. We haven't really driven a car on air in a spirited manner. So yeah, let us know in the comment section if you've got experience with air and you can fight its corner. Uh, then yeah, feel free to let us know and we can have some cool debates. So we are pretty much good to go. Scouse is on the social media. We we know it's the uh, closing, Cars and performance. It's closing time. Mitt has got his hands in his pockets and his wife's just texting saying, get home or you're dead. And Mikey wants to play football. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you this much. If you could take, you can't, you can't sell either of these cars, yeah? If tonight you can take one of these cars on, you can have, you can have Garris 14 or you can have the Cozzy. What are you taking home? Scouts. Cozzy. This side. Cozzy. Mikey. S14. Please. I'll take the cozy as well. <laughs> as always, hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video. Please make sure you check out my website down here. Really, really appreciate it. And we will see you soon.